are back with another video and we would like to share with you guys what we got for the dogs Christmas this year and we hope you all had a good Christmas and Santa was good to you all. So we got a couple of things for the dogs and my mum and Miss Date got a couple of things for Pixie and Roxy as well so we would like to share with you what it is that we got. Now I am trying out my new lighting system and I can see myself perfectly which is great because usually the lighting in here is pretty horrendous and I do apologise in advance if you hear whistling or howling in the background it's very windy and stormy outside and our windows do howl and let the air in so um, I do apologise for that but anyway back to the video so the first thing, I'm going to do these things first just because they're out of the bag and Pixie's wanting to play with them. So this is from Misty and this is from Outward Hounds and it's like the, the fish squeaker that we've got, as you can see she really likes it and it's got two, excuse me, let me see, let me see, can I see it please? It's got two squeakers in it just like the fish <laughs> and they love it as you can see. Right Pixie, I need to show people. Oh. As you can see she loves it. We also got another one for, I actually think that's Roxy's one she's got but either way it doesn't matter. This is the other one. So it is a frog and this one is a lizard as you can see. And they both have the squeakers and she loves it. <laughs> Do you love it? Roxy loves it as well, though she's not as playful as what Pixie is with them. You gotta get it. Go get it. You gotta get it. No, she's not interested. Okay, so that's the first two things, so we really, really like them. The next two things is the Nyla Bone. Now, we actually forgot we had these because I was working 12 hour shifts um, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and 27th so I had like no time really to organise or even remember what it is I had got the dogs. My head was just all over the place with the shifts. So we brought out one of the other gifts and this was hidden underneath and I actually totally forgot I had these. But these are the Nyla Bone um, Chew Toys and I think one's a cheeseburger and one's a steak. Something like that anyway. Um, we never really opened anything until about 9 o'clock at night when I got home so the dogs had to wait all day. And so did I and so did Jamie. So. It was a bit of a late Christmas for us and we are now just enjoying what it is we receive for Christmas just because I have these days off now. So this is the first Nyla Bone and I think this is the cheeseburger one and I think this is the cheese and steak one. I threw away the packaging um, but these are the toys and they are really really good. As you can see they have kind of chewed on them a wee bit there at the corners, haven't you? Roxy likes to chew anything that she can get a hold of, so they really enjoy them. Okay, so the next thing we got for the dogs was a new bed. As you can see, oh sorry, sorry. Sorry, couldn't see you there, knocking it over. So this is their bed, it's a nice kind of burgundy red colour, um, nice and comfy. It is the size smaller than the bed that we got them before, just because the bed that we had, Pixie only really lies in it, Roxy doesn't bother lying in it at all. So we got a smaller one just because we thought with the bigger one the two of them might lie in it together, but they don't, excuse me. So we got a smaller one and the burgundy colour was a nice Christmas winter colour and as you can see Pixie is absolutely destroying the cushion as she does. Excuse me, you're ruining your bed. 
she loves it, she absolutely loves it. She goes in, lies, curries in, and she does this, obviously. Pixie, Pixie, you're ripping your bed apart. Come on, that's enough. No. Okay, so that is their bed, and obviously the Nyla bones I had hidden under here, um, out of the way, I totally forgot that they were actually in there until we gave her the bed. Excuse me, no. So that is a nice comfy bed, smaller than the ones that we got before. thing to last just because if I bring that out just now I'll not be able to finish this video in peace. So the next thing that we bought the dogs was uh, Lily's Kitchen Yule Tide Delights and it's a selection box for dogs and in this we have venison sausages with apple cider vinegar and blackberries, skinny coat baked biscuit treats, Red Berry Boost snack bar, which they've had, and the fish skin parcels. Now, Lily's Kitchen do not do dried fish skin parcels. They do the fish skin chews, and they're very, very chewy, and I don't like them. So I was a bit worried when it said fish skins, it was the chews, but they're actually the cubes, which is really, really good. So it comes in a nice box. And let's just see. Now, we have tried the fish skin parcels we've tried and we have tried the venison sausages so there is the venison sausages and in them they have venison, apple cider vinegar, thyme, blackberries and rosemary and these look horrendous they look wee kind of Willy Winky sausages and they stink. Ooh. Ooh. You want one? You need to stand. You're not allowed to hold on. Stand. Right, there you go. Right, stand. Stand. You cling on for dear life. And they're getting a treat this morning because they've not even had their breakfast yet and they're getting all these goodies. So the fish skin parcels are just like the wee kind of fish cubes. Like so. And as most of you know, I do not like fish. So they will go as soon as possible. And then we have the Lily's Kitchen Natural Snack Bar for dogs, which we have had before and the dogs absolutely love. And we also have the Shiny Coat Biscuits, which are the tiny small bones, which are a good size for training. And they've also had them before. So that has came in that box and they've never tried that before. There's products in there that you can't get on Lily's Kitchen, so it's a one-off um, exclusive for Christmas. So I'll just put this to one side. Okay, so the next thing we got was from Misty and Misty's mum, or my mum, has made a lovely chin pillow for the dogs. Now she's handmade this from material that she got in a shop and it is absolutely lovely, lovely colour. It's a nice size and it fits the dogs perfectly. The one that I have just now is just getting a wee bit too small for Roxy so I do need to use a bigger one for her but this suits them and fits them perfectly so thank you very much Misty. The next thing we have in here again is from Misty and they are the Waybox sticks. 
meaty sticks, so it's turkey and sausage. Now it's made with 95% fresh meat and it's made without cereals, which is really good. Now this is the same brand as the newspaper that we get for them. It's Webox. Now there is animal diuretives in it, so it's not all completely healthy, but it's a very small stick and I think just a wee bite isn't going to do them any harm. It's not like they're going to get it all the time. So, but we have four sticks to try for them. The next thing in here we have is something that we got for Misty. And it is uh, again the Lily's Kitchen. We're so big on Lily's Kitchen now that we moving back to their brand. And it is the Christmas Biscuits Turkey with Cranberry Thyme and Cinnamon. There we go. And they are very small love heart biscuits. Will we try one? Have to sniff. Mmm. Okay, sit. Sit. Good girl, give me your paw. And the other one. Stand. Good girl. Give me a paw. And the other one. Twiddle. Good girl. Stand. Come here. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. She's not too sure. Come on. Good girl. Okay, so that is another good treat for them. All healthy and natural. Eat your biscuit. Eat your biscuit, I'm gonna take it away. Okay, now the next thing we got, no, the next two things, or three things, sorry. The next three things we got from Misty. And the first thing is, again, a tin of Lily's Kitchen and it's the Three Birds Feast. Now, this is actually what they got for their Christmas dinner, um, for their Christmas meal, and it contains turkey, goose and duck, with parsnips, Swiss chard, carrots, cranberries, apples, vitamins and minerals. So, and it's got all the healthy herbs in there for them. So, this done them their Christmas dinner. They weren't too keen on it, but they ate it, so um, I have a backup now. Um, now that I've used the tin that we've got, so we're going to keep that for something special. The next thing we have in here, there's a wee bit of a story behind this, and basically when Pixie, when my mum comes over with Misty and I give her a cup of tea, Pixie is all in about trying to get this tea off my mum. She creeps up behind her, sneaks round, tries to sniff the cup. She's just absolutely obsessed with tea and I don't know what it is about it. So, my mum thought it would be a good laugh to get the Woof and Brew Healthy Hair Roll Dog Teas. So, Pixie now has her own tea. And this is the packaging here. And basically, it's like a tea bag and you put it in, you boil the kettle and you put it in 250ml of boiling water and you allow it to infuse for four minutes. And then you remove the dog tea bag with a spoon and add a further 750ml of cold water. Start and pour contents into your dog bowl and leave for them to enjoy. So, I've not opened these, I've been dying to open these to see what they are like, but I've kept it for the video. And we are going to try out one of these this afternoon, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on, on it um, to show you guys what it is that we're doing with it. And these come in different flavours, so you can get one for performance, anxiety, you can get one for... A fresh breath, there's different kind of smells, I can smell it already, it's really, really strong. Do you like it? Mm, they love it. it. Smells really herbally. So there is the wee tea bag, I think that's hilarious. 
so it's like a wee tea bag and a okay, let's see how many we get in one two I think this is a seven day yep there's seven tea bags in here so this is a seven day tea bag so we've got enough for seven drinks so Misty is coming over this afternoon and she is going to enjoy afternoon tea with Pixie and Roxy. Aren't they? Yes? You're going to have afternoon tea? So that's really funny and I think if they really enjoy these I might try the anxiety one just because they do get stressed quite easily. So it would be good to see the results of that. So I'll do another video on this and we'll see how we go. Okay, so the next thing in here is from Misty and I know it says Thornton's Chocolates in Champagne Truffles, that's not actually for the dogs. This is an old box, it's just a tub, so it's what's in the tub that is for the dogs. And again, these are handmade, so we have quite a lot of bows in here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the bows like this just because um, it's better seeing them here than on my phone. So these are the bows. Now, this is a really, really big one. And it is purple with some nice beading on it. It's huge, by the way. And then we got some bows from Beauty by Paris. And my mum had actually made this bow beforehand and it's a lot bigger than the one that she had gave us so we have another one of these we also have um, this kind of burgundy red one with some jewels and another one with some gems on it so these are really really lovely and again we have some with some kind of mesh beading on it which is really nice and a nice blue one as well and these are ones that are really stiff just because I think they've got the mesh beading around them now I really like this one it's a nice kind of burgundy red with a butterfly on it so I'll need to be really careful with this one that it doesn't bend it will be one for picture only and then straight back out the hair and again we have the mesh bead around this one and again with these ones now my mum's handmade all of these and we do have a shop open up on our website and I'll leave a link to that down below and we are only starting out I'm trying to put up as much content as possible it is a bit difficult with 12 hour shifts that I do but we are trying our best and this one's lovely. This one suits Roxy really well just because of the colour. So you can go and check out our bows on there and it's got some of my mum's bows as well and that's a nice kind of summer one. So those are the bows that we received from Misty and they're all handmade and we're looking forward to trying some out. As you can see this one is a lot bigger than the rest. Okay, so that is them. Listen to that wind, that is horrendous. Okay, so the last thing we have in the bag is the most noisiest toy I've ever seen in my life. And Jamie got these for, Jamie got this for the dogs um, because he thought it would be quite good. And it is good, don't get me wrong, it is good, but Pixie's just a wee bit, gets a wee bit too excited when it comes to this and um, you know, you do you do need to take it away at some point because the neighbours will be thinking, oh my goodness, what is going on in there with my dog? So we got this, I think Jamie got it from the GML website and it's called a Waggle Ball, I think. A wobble wag ball and this is it here and it's a pretty big ball for them and Pixie knows right away what it is but it's a very hard ball and it's got the wee kind of bits in between for the dog to grab onto although my dog's mice are too small to grab onto it but it does make a wobble wag sound we need to wait going to go hyper in a minute as soon as this 
and make this noise. So this is the noise it makes. first and then we'll play. So this rolls about in the floor and when it rolls about she makes the barking noise, she cries, she makes all these kind of funny noises to try and get it. She loves it. Um, it's a, a toy. It's a Right. Sit. Wait. 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 Pixie. Wait, as you can see, it's why I wanted to leave this video until last. Excuse me, calm down. You can understand why I wanted to leave this video till last because she absolutely loves it. So I'm going to put it down on the floor and I'm going to take a quick video of um, her playing with it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Mine will last that long. Yes, you'll get it. You'll get you'll get it. My goodness. Right. You ready? goodness so that was noisy so you can understand why it's not a long-term toy to stay out on the floor all day because it is the most noisiest toy ever and it's a shame because we don't have a big room in the living room enough for it to roll about a lot so it would be better for them in a bigger room to play with I think because um, as soon as it rolls across the floor it hits something and then they have to dig it and roll it back so it's it would be good if it was bigger um, if we had a bigger um, room in order for them to play with it so I think it would do outside so outside my mum's back garden might be good although I don't think the neighbours would agree okay so the last and final thing we got this wasn't what we got for Christmas we had a 10% off voucher for pets at home to use by New Year's Eve so we thought we would get Roxy a wee toy just because she doesn't bother with the ball and um, that's more pixie so we thought we would get something for Roxy to play with and I have to say I did pick the correct toy for her so we got her this snake and as you can see it's very long and it's one of those ones that stretches and pings and pixie loves it as well um, so we got that for them as well. Yes! You're just full of play, aren't you? You're full of play. So it's not got a squeaker, I don't think. Oh, it does. It's got a squeaker. It's got a squeaker, Roxy. Yes! So it's nice to see Roxy play with some toys. But anyway, that is us. 
Okay, so that is our video on what the dogs got for Christmas this year. A little less than what they got last year. Um, but we are glad to share with you guys. And as I said, we're going to do a video on the herbal teas with afternoon tea with Pixie and Roxy. So you can look forward to that video and how the dogs react to the tea bags. And if you like this video, leave us a comment. If you have any suggestions on anything that you would like to see, please leave us a comment down below. And I'll list the links to the website of the Herbal Teas and the Waggle Ball as well if you're ever interested. Although I don't think anybody would be with the racket that, these, that Pixie makes on it. So I'll leave the links down below anyway. And I'll also put our website down below for you to go and have a look at our bows. So that is our video and thank you very much for watching and we will see you guys later. Bye! Thank you.